You've seen the images of cars flooded by Hurricane Ian. Thousands of them across the state of Florida. Some of those cars will be cleaned up and sold right here in Indiana. WRTV investigates Kara Kenny spoke with a company that does car history reports about how you can spot a flood damaged car. And joining me now is Emily Voss with Carfax. And Emily, talk to me about all those cars that you're seeing in the water now. Some of those could actually end up in Indiana. That's correct, Kara. We know that there's widespread flooding across Florida. And historically, we know that currently Carfax estimates there's about 400,000 vehicles on the road with flood damage events in their history. And that's before Ian hit. They're looking to make a quick buck and they take these cars, they clean them up, and then they sell them to unsuspecting buyers. So Carfax estimates that Indiana is 15th in the nation when it comes to flood damage vehicles? That's right. When we look at all the states in the nation, Indiana comes in 15th and actually had a 4% increase when we compare it to 2021. We estimate there's about 8,700 vehicles on the road. Now this is before Ian on the road in Indiana that have some sort of waterlogged history. Where can you buy these cars? Are we talking about Craigslist or can you buy them from licensed dealers? So these cars end up showing, they show up a lot of different places. So yes, they can end up on dealer lots. Now, sometimes there are unscrupulous sellers, whether that be a dealer or a private seller who then turns around and looks to make a profit off of these vehicles by not disclosing that it does have flood damage in its history. But so some of them that go through the insurance claim route will end up then being sold at auction and end up back on the roads. To the naked eye, cosmetically, they look completely fine, but they're literally rotting from the inside out. That's scary. It is scary. And it's scary, especially for an unsuspecting buyer. Does Carfax offer any sort of tools so that you can find out if your car has been in a flood? So we have a free flood check, um, carfax.com slash flood. Right there, you put in the VIN, the vehicle identification number, and we'll tell you if we have any sort of record that this vehicle has a flooding event in its past. I would imagine you need to look for signs like a damp smell or any um, water spots in the car. What else should I be looking for? There's several things that you can be looking for. One of them being moisture um, in the headlights, the taillights, and the instrument panels. Also looking for rust on any exposed metal. Uh, we do talk about a damp smell, but also if they're using an overwhelming air freshener, um, like they're trying to cover something up. All right, Emily Voss with Carfax. Thanks so much for joining us. You can avoid buying a flood damaged car by running a vehicle history report. Look to see if it's previously been owned in hurricane areas like Florida and also look for any flood branded titles. Also be wary of cars that are priced below market value and make sure to get it checked out by a mechanic before you buy.